G'day guys, today we are playing around uh, with another M12 series. Uh, we've got the M12 CIW38. So for the 3.8 uh, impact wrench, it's a fuel unit, it's 158 newton meters in the second speed. First speed we've got 23 newton meters, which is a really good uh, yeah, power rate on that. Good for just tightening things up without over tightening them and risking stripping yep. threads or anything. Yep, it's not out of control across the, across the, uh, across the board. Yep. 1200 RPM first speed and 2650 for second speed. Yeah, which is quite quick. Yeah, so Dwayne's the main wrench man, he plays around with it a fair bit, so he'll sort of share a bit more about it. Yep, absolutely. So, um, as we said, 3 8 impact wrench. I don't have any 3 8 impact sockets, so I've just got an adapter, 3 8 to half inch adapter, so I use my half inch impact sockets. Yep. And we, uh, we took that out first to my uh, 4x4 U. Um, and I couldn't break the lug nuts with that. Yep. Um, 158 newton meters is going to fall short for your four-wheel drive and things yeah. sometimes, especially as in my case, the wheels have just been changed and at the shop they've probably done it up real tight with an air Beyond with an air wrench. Life, yeah. That's right. So, um, but that is easily going to get you done for just about any passionate car yeah. that I can think of. Yep. Um, so that that's a lot of different vehicles that you can. Yeah, and, and a lug nut is one of the toughest tests on the car. It's, it's a good test for most of us who are fiddling around with that, and most guys can sort of gauge, get a gauge of, of what that is. Yeah, that's right. You know? And you can always look up your own car if you want to know how tight your lug nut's supposed to be, yeah. your suspension bolts, all those sort of things. Yep. But, um, lug, you know, lug nuts aside, just about anything almost in the engine bay or in the car, the seats, the boot, anything like that, yeah. this is going to do just about anything in the car. Yeah, I think beforehand we get an impact driver and stick an adapter on it. Yeah. And you do, this reverses the game. We're not talking in the, in the automotive series about, oh, I'll get an impact driver that's built for builders and all the DIY guys yeah. and stick an adapter on. This is built for, for the automotive guys. That's right. And it will do all the stuff underneath the bonnet. Yeah. Stick an extension bonnet, it stops you from getting your half inch ratchet and sitting there pumping away. That's right. Yeah. Um, so 158 newton meters is actually. Um, that's actually very high for a 12 volt tool. Yeah, well, as you were saying before, that's that's as high as what a couple of years ago the best impact driver on the market was doing. And now we've got an M12. Yeah, that was an 18 volt. Yeah, 18 volt. Yes. Yeah, and this is an M12, so yeah. um, that's quite impressive. Uh, the first and second speed button is on the top. It's a little electronic button, yeah. and it's sitting down below the um, housing of the tool. Yeah. So you can't break it, hurt it in yeah, anywhere really whatsoever. Yep. Um, got the fuel gauge on the side which uh, M the M12 range, they, they have their four light, or four LED yep. um, fuel gauges, which we're a big fan of. Yep. Uh, fuel, four rather than two or three. Well, we're chatting before, so say the two or three that some companies have got out, you just, for the, with, you still have 30% or 50% power left when you're on the last uh, light. Yeah. This, it's the last 25%. I think four is smart, I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot more um, useful, I think. For yeah, the it's got the belt hook there, which yeah. I also like. That's right. I think most mechanics are going to scrub it all on the ground anyway, because that's often what happens with the tools when they're up and under, yeah. which is why, even though it's such a small thing, sorry to go back on it, but when Dwayne said that that little um, speed selector is below the uh, housing, I really like that, because often they get scrubbed on the concrete. Yeah, that's true. Um, I took it out to my trailer, hadn't taken the wheels off that for years, yeah. um, and uh, so those nuts and bolts were all quite rusted up. Yeah. Um, 17 mil nuts, and I was able to take two of the four off. Yep. So um, that was actually quite impressive that it was able to take off those old rusted ones. Um, again, if you're looking to be breaking gnarly old um, nuts and bolts that are rusted on and stuff, the 12 volt tool is not really, you know, you should be going for a high torque wrench, if anything. Yep. Um, to so crack bolts, big bolts. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, anyway, quite impressed. We took it into my shed. Um, just mucked around with a, you know some of the uh, coach bolts yep. um, that I've got holding down my bike yep. and uh, you know spun them off like easy, too easy. Yeah, like <laughs> I didn't even know it was doing something. Yeah. Um, so uh, very versatile. Look, it's an impact wrench and it's designed for people in the auto game and things like that. Yep. But that doesn't mean that you can't make the most out of this tool by driving screws as well. Yeah. Um, all you have to do is get a an adapter like this, which is three eighths square on one end, quarter inch drive on the other. You pop that on your tool, and now you have a quarter inch impact drive at five newton. I mean, it's it's longer because it's got an adapter, 
but make it work for you. Uh, I've got a 5mm um, hex drive bit in there, yeah. and uh, we, we drove 100mm, 100 100mm joules mm yeah. into, uh, into pine all the way, and that was a tough test, but it did it. Yeah. It did it no problem. Yeah. yeah, it didn't have an issue, especially at 2650 RPM. Yeah. So what this is doing is we're not saying at all that this is going to, oh, it's a builder's tool, but we're saying this is automotive, but instead of getting an impact driver and putting an adapter on it, this is built for you, and then you whack the adapter on, and you can right. do a few screws, whatever you want. That's right. And I mean, that was a hard test to be bugle screw. You put decking screws in, or Phillips yep. heads, or any of the type of fasteners you're going to use in a car yep. setting, especially. Yep. It's going to, it's just going to smoke them. Yeah. How many self tappers do you use with little brackets, you know, that sort of stuff, yep. saddle clamps, and then eat up under the dash, all the sort of panel screws. Yeah. It'll do all that. Yeah. With a simple adapter. So I, I think it's a really versatile tool for the auto guys. Use your adapters, make the most out of your tools. Yep. Um, anyway, so I think that's all we've got to say. That's the 38 fuel M12 wrench, yep. CIW38, 158 Newton meters. Yep. Um, we like it, and uh, if you need a wrench, go check it out. It's one more reason um, that, particularly in the auto game, but in a lot of different trades, you really can't ignore the M12 line. No, nah, not at all. No. Nah. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Thanks, guys. Um, Please comment, tell me what you think, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. See ya. See ya.